Dan and Laura, what what's going on here? Why are there holes in these bottles? Um, I'm trying to drill holes in bottles so you can wire a lamp and so have the wire come out of the bottle. Okay. So and it's basically how, invisible. Uh, and how did we get these holes in here? So we are using a thing called a flux shaft with this, in this case, this is holding a diamond impregnated core drill. So we have a little motor that's connected to the other end of this flux shaft and we step on a little pedal on the floor and this spins up. So now this is, this is an abrasive bit. So I can run my finger all over it and not get cut as opposed to like a high speed steel bit. Uh, we use this because this will take away little tiny insignificant particles of glass so, so it doesn't uh, catch or fracture the glass. Now when we have to drill the hole, neither of us, uh, Laura or I, have ever drilled holes in glass before and we didn't know what was going to happen when we did it. So what we did was, instead of drilling holes in these expensive fancy bottles first, we used a test bottle. Emptied so there, out first. There are two course. holes in that one, right? There's two holes in this. Uh, the bottle was already empty before we started drilling, so... Okay, and this one here is the first hole, right? Uh, yeah, so this here, this is the first hole. As if you might be able to see, there's some fractures in the back yep. as we broke through the back side of the glass. Okay. This was a result of us pushing too hard on the bit. Okay, uh, being and impatient. also we filled it up with um, water first. Mm -hmm. Why so did we do that? It, Glass is a really good thermal insulator, and if you're using a friction bit like this, all that energy gets turned into heat. Now, because it's a good insulator, the area region right around the hole where we're drilling is going to heat up and we're going to want to expand, as opposed to the area just outside of that, which stays cool and stays. So this, it's expanding at a different rate. Yeah. So what that does that causes an internal pressure, and if that internal pressure exceeds the yield strength of the glass, the glass shatters. And that's not something that we want to do. So what we do to prevent that from happening is we filled the bottle up with water because it's a big heat sink. Um, and we also ran water like this over. Squirted water on it. As we were drilling yeah. and it kind of also lubricated. Yeah, yeah, we didn't do that one at first though. At first we just, just put the just went dry like that. Yeah. And then after we did that, then we added the water to it. And that, and you seemed to notice immediately that that was a, a positive. Bad idea. Well, adding the water was a positive thing. So when we so, add, when we added the water, when we started oh. drilling, you want to add some water to it? You notice that that really nasty sound sort of went away. Yeah. So it's cooling the point where it's going in. You can see that's a nicer cut yeah. than this was. Oh, uh, yeah. And also okay. went a lot quicker. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. And then the, the next step, now that you've got a couple of bottles that have uh, holes in them, the next step is you'll, you'll add some electronics to it. Or not yeah. electronics, but electrical stuff, I guess. Wiring, so... This cord is going to be going through the bottle and coming out this hole. So instead of it coming out the top and, and you then, seeing it, it's going the, to end up the invisible. Light part will be the up light's going part. to be up here. Okay. Well, that's great. This is a neat project, and thanks for sharing it. Thank you.